Hey guys, Ivan here, and this right here is gonna be an update about upcoming Tampa Pro. I'm gonna show you a couple of guys who may win this thing and uh, show you their most recent updates. So let's begin with Luke Sando. So he made this post, it's just himself posing, they are doing most muscular, which is one of his greatest poses, and he looks really good. He looks very full, he looks fresh. But that is pretty much his trademark at this point. He's very big, very round, very full. That's his thing, he's thick, he's thick, that's the best thing that you can describe, look, he's thick as a brick. But that's not his problem, that's not something we're worried about, we're worried about his conditioning. If he doesn't bring his A game when it comes to conditioning, if Chris Sito doesn't do great job with him this time, he will not beat not only Dexter, but also another guy, Hassan Mostafa. If you guys remember this indie pro, we had Hassan Mostafa beating Luke Sando. He was beating him decisively. I think it was pretty freaking obvious. I was actually thinking that Hassan is going to beat even Akim, but he didn't. I think Hassan has the best legs in bodybuilding today. He's a bit shorter guy, but that won't stop him from winning. I think he has probably even bigger chances than Luke, because Luke is a wild card. Luke has better structure. He's taller, he has wide clavicles, very wide back, he's not narrow as Hassan. And the thing about Hassan is he has the best legs on that stage, for sure. He has very big arms and he has very, very developed lats as well. But he can bring conditioning. As you can see at this Indie Pro, he brought his A game. And if he repeats this shape, and if Luke repeats his shape from this Indie Pro, and it does not come like he was at Arnold Classic 2019, Hassan will actually beat Luke. Simply because of that conditioning, combined with fullness and roundness and muscular development and thickness. However, on the other hand, you have Dexter Jackson, who is a very consistent bodybuilder, unlike Luke, for example. He's very consistent with his conditioning, and you can see him training his arms, I think a few weeks ago or last week, something like that, and goddamn, he looks impressive. He looks like a winner already, and he's very, very conditioned. I mean, this is like conditioning ready for the stage, right? And this is a long time before Tampa, so he will probably just have to cruise with this kind of body fat, doesn't really have to get any leaner, just keep this fullness and stay the same pretty much, maybe get a little bit drier a few days before the show and that's about it. But while Dexter is pumping up his arms on a tricep rope extension, Luke is doing some very heavy double rows, as you can see, he is not letting his foot off the gas pedal even this close to the show. And as per usual, he is lifting some super heavyweights and he is getting thicker, he is getting thicker every year. And that's the name of his game, Thickness. He is thick as a brick, and in my opinion, probably the future Mr. Olympia, because he doesn't have any weaknesses, pretty much. He just needs to improve a couple of body parts and come peeled. Peeled, and he can win any show, because he is complete. The guy with the least amount of flaws will win. The guy who has the best conditioning, the most muscular physique, and the best posing is always going to be the winner of the show. So once again, Luke's problem is not his mass. He is very big, very massive, he is huge, he is thick as a brick, as I already said, but his conditioning is the problem. He cannot win the show if he looks fluffy like he looked at the Indie Pro. You cannot win this kind of a competition looking smooth like he looked at the Indie Pro, no matter how big he is. And if Hassan brings his A game, like it was at the Indie Pro, he's going to be better than Luke. But will that be enough to beat Dexter? Based on this clip right here, it seems like Dexter is bringing his A game. Once again, he is looking full, he is looking shredded, he is looking ready to win the damn thing. Many people are actually confused why he's doing Tampa, why doesn't he let other guys qualify for the Mr. Olympia, and maybe it is a little bit selfish, especially doing a show this late in the year, so close to the Mr. Olympia, for some people their last train. But if those guys can't beat a 50 year old, then they shouldn't be at the Mr. Olympia. And despite him turning 50 in a couple of months, I think he's going to bring his 2017 shape, which is not that hard, I mean that was only two years ago, and he will win the Tampa Pro, and then at the Mr. Olympia, he will probably crack the top 5. Top 5 and he can win any single spot in that top 5. He can even win the show. Not very likely, not likely, but if these guys come off and Dexter, as he knows, comes on, comes peeled, and this is gonna be much improved version this year compared to the last couple of years, because his legs grew and he got a bit bigger and fuller, and he's gonna bring the conditioning, he's known for that, I mean, for God's sake, he's called Blade. 
for a reason, and that reason is not because he doesn't age and because he's a vampire, but because he's sharp as a blade. Anyways, guys, this is it for this video. I think it's going to be between Hassan Mustafa, Luke Sando and Dexter Jackson. And uh, in all likeliness, it's going to be Luke who is winning it, because he is the best physique right here, and it's all about his conditioning. But if he doesn't bring his conditioning, it's going to be between Hassan and Dexter. Now, it depends on whether Dexter improves and whether Hassan brings conditioning. If Hassan does bring conditioning, he's gonna have very big chances beating Dexter, because his legs may be smaller and his arms can be asymmetrical, but based on all I've saw so far, I think that's not gonna be the case. I think Dexter's muscularity, fullness and conditioning are going to be enough to win 2019 Tampa Pro. Anyways guys, thanks for watching once again. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. I'm uploading every single freaking day. That's right. And also like the video, please, if you enjoyed it. All the best. Bye-bye.